I'm Dr. Bruce Clark. I'm the Extension Specialist in Turf Grass Pathology and the Director for the Rutgers Center for Turf Grass Science. Welcome to the 2020 Rutgers Visual or Virtual Field Days. And it's my pleasure to show you some results from our Pythium fungicide efficacy trial. Uh, the objective of this study is to evaluate synthetic fungicides and bioirrational products for the ability to suppress this disease under very difficult conditions. This is applied, if you take a pan of this, this field, this study, uh, this was actually applied to stellar uh, GLR perennial ryegrass, which is gray leaf spot resistant. We see it in June 14th, it's cut at two inches. Uh, it's frequently irrigated to increase leaf wetness period in the evenings and fertilizer is applied about a half a pound every four weeks to occur to disease. Uh, the fungicides were applied from May 14th to August 20th in four gallons of water. And it's applied with air induction nozzles 91, I'm sorry, 9503E. Uh, the fungicides are applied either in a 7, 14, 21, or 28 day interval. And there's not very much in this study that actually survived in terms of protecting the turf because we had incredible high temperatures, high humidity, pretty much the entire month of June, July, even into August was prime weather for Pythium. And this is in a very secluded area, very poor air circulation. And so this is a natural infection, but it's just very, very severe. So let me share it with you and there's some of the results. What I'd like to do is talk about single active ingredients that worked well, and then also finally some combination products that work very well. The fungicide chemistries that work best for this uh, would be the QII fungicides, the propamacarb uh, carba carbamate fungicides, the QOI fungicides, those that are most effective typically for the control of this disease. We also have fairly good control with mefenoxin, uh, with some of the phosphonates, chlorineb, ethazole, and mancozeb. But in general, the we only had about four fungicide entries that effectively control the disease under these severe natural conditions this year. So let's take a quick look at the single active ingredients. The first study I wanna talk about would be treatment number 10, uh, which is insignia. Insignia is a QOI fungicide applied at the high level rate of 0.7 fluid ounces every 14 days. This provided us with excellent control. You can see the plot right next to it, the amount of, of, of thinning caused, the pit caused by pythium, uh, just tremendous amount of disease development. And you go back to the insignia plot, very, very effective control. And it, I think the main reason we had such effective control with strobe, which we don't always have this kind of level of control, is because we got it on well before the disease started on a preventive basis. If we move over then to uh, our next Entry is Segway at the low label rate of 0.5 fluid ounces every 14 days. You can see some disease development. We had some breakdown uh, in mid-July. The conditions were just conducive every single day for Pythium. And this is a poorly drained site, fairly protected shaded site. So the low label rate uh, did break down a little bit, but in the previous years, the 0.65 or 0.9 fluid ounce rate worked very well. One of the important things to note though, is that the only products that worked well this year were at a 14 day interval. And that when we tried to extend the interval to 21 days, even the Segway uh, and even the, the other combination products with Sazofamid did not work as well as they have in the past. So that shows under severe conditions, you cannot expect more than 14 days control of this disease with any fungicide or fungicide combination. If we move over, we see the untreated, one of the untreated checks very clearly just being decimated. This plot probably has about a 50% cover right now. And at the height of the disease, about three or four weeks ago, we probably had 80% of the disease or any 80% of the turf being obliterated by this fungus and about 30% grew back, but it's still a very unacceptable plot. Obviously shows you just how devastating Pythium can be. The strain of Pythium we have is Pythium Mephanor Dermatum. It's a natural infection, very, very uh, bad foliar blighter. And here's probably one of the best plots we've had in this test. Uh, it's caused, uh, it's protected by Union at 2.9 fluid ounces at 14 days. We got excellent disease control with this product uh, throughout the entire summer. And this is applied every 14 days. Um, pretty much the combination of azoxystrobin and siazofamid, uh, the same active in Segway is giving us the control. And I think it shows the importance of tank mixing or pre-mixing uh, good pythium fungicide chemistries. Often one chemistry can't do it alone. The 
combination often attacks different strains of the fungus and therefore tank mixing and alternating almost always works better for the control of almost any turf grass disease under very severe conditions. So that's it in a nutshell. Uh, some really good results, but not many products working in this test, but it shows just how effective some of these combinations and single product entries can be, even under conditions as we had in 2020. Thanks for listening.